So this is a pretty recent acquisition. I think I bought it last month or something like that and just hadn't gotten around to making a video on it. Um, but as some of you may know, uh, it's been illegal to carry a automatic pocket knife, a switchblade, which is defined basically as a knife that opens automatically when you press a button. Um, so like stuff with flippers and assisted knives and everything are fine. Uh, just not switch blades, which again is defined as like you press a button and that spring deploys the blade with like a spring basically is the loose like definition of automatic knife. Um, and recently in like October, I think, or November, I think it was October and like end of October, we got the announcement that in January of 2023, automatic knives are going to become legal to carry in Pennsylvania. Now, they've been legal to own. You're just not supposed to carry them. Um, I do have one automatic knife other than this one, and that's the um, Dessert Warrior uh, Boker Kalashnikov. Um, sticking with that theme, I got another uh, Boker Kalashnikov. This one says it's the Kalashnikov 74. I don't know if that has to do with the blade shape or not, but this is just the all blacked out version. Um, and then it's got this uh, clip blade here. Um, really cool looking clip blade. Uh, really, you know, thin out there at the point. This is really po pointy and pokey and everything uh, for, you know, um, doing all your cutting needs and everything. Uh, pretty cool looking knife. These are fairly affordable. I think they're using D2 now on most of these Kalashnikov uh, pokers. This one is in D2, which I was happy to see. I think this is about $60, which isn't horrible. Uh, a lot of automatic knives are very expensive. Like I would have loved to have like a Kershaw launch, launch series, but they're, um, some of them are up there at like $120. And I'm probably not going to carry an automatic knife all that often. So for me, it's like, okay, I'm not going to spend that much money. If I wanted to spend $120 on another pocket knife, I'd spend a little bit more and get another Hogue Deca or something from Spyderco or something along those lines. Um, so just to have an automatic knife to carry, I wanted to get one of these because it's fairly affordable. And I mean, from what I've heard, it seems like they're fairly well made. Now that being said, since this is a um, automatic knife and it just locks with the button, it does have a little bit of like lock rock, but I think that's pretty normal. My Dessert Warrior has that as well. Does it have side to side? I don't remember. No, it doesn't have any side to side, but it just has some lock rock play, which means the blade moves just slightly when you like, you're not going to be able to tell, but... You're just going to have to believe me that it moves very slightly. And I think that's just basically because you can't be super precision, like drilling the uh, area where the button lock, if you will, um, stops it. So it does have a little bit of, like I said, lock rock, which isn't the end of the world. And I'm sure it's fine. Um, this isn't a super hard use knife anyway, being an automatic. Uh, so it's not like I'm going to be doing anything crazy with it. I need to be super concerned about the lock. Um, but I am pretty excited about um, automatic knives being legal to carry in Pennsylvania, uh, finally. Because, you know, it means that I can finally uh, buy stuff like this, which is cool. Uh, it's not really super... I say it's not super practical. It, it is super practical. This is like the easiest way to one hand open a pocket knife. So if you're doing something with this hand and need to open your knife, um, opening it with a button is the easiest way to do that. Um, of course, it has been illegal to carry an automatic knife uh, in Pennsylvania and a lot of other places for a long time, dating back to the days when I guess there were like switchblade wheeling, snapping uh, bandits, like out of... Um, West Side Stories or something, but I never understood because in the state of Pennsylvania, like you can go to any courthouse, basically, because we are a shall issue state. You can go to any courthouse, get a permit to carry carry firearms, and as long as you pass a background check and have like, I don't know, I think it's fifteen dollars, you can carry around a handgun with you, uh, pretty much wherever you want. 
know, with some exceptions like government buildings, schools, obviously, uh, stuff like that. You can't carry one, but you know, anywhere else you can carry that with basically a background check and fifteen dollars in the state of Pennsylvania. So it's never made sense to me why you can uh, do that, but not carry a switchblade, because obviously this is. I think most people would consider this to be um, a less effective, like if you were going to try to hurt somebody, then this is. Um, that being said, uh, pocket knives are not weapons. They are tools. Um, guns, I think, are generally regarded as weapons. Um, now, that being said, legally, I think they're considered weapons, uh, knives, that is. But us in the uh, knife world, knife community and all that. I don't think we consider knives to be weapons. They're tools. Um, I'm never going to hurt somebody with a knife. Um, at least that would never be my intention is to hurt somebody with a knife. Now, I've hurt myself with a knife a couple of times, um, as you might be able to tell by my like fingers here. There's, there's the good one that I did a couple of years ago. Um, so the only person I've ever hurt with a pocket knife is myself um, by, you know, making a mistake and cutting open a finger or something. Um, so, yeah, I don't see knives as weapons. Some people do. Uh, legally re regarded, I think they are still kind of considered weapons. Um, but, yeah, automatic knives are going to be legal to carry in the state of Pennsylvania in the start of next year. So I am excited about that. Looking forward to it. I don't know how often I'll carry an automatic knife, but I like that I am able to. I think it's cool. Um, so anyway, Boger Kalashnikov, cool little automatic knife. Not super expensive. Now they're available in D2, which I like. Uh, some people don't like D2. I like this full blacked out version, and I like the uh, clip point blade. Um, the normal blade, I think, is like a spear dagger blade looking thing. I definitely prefer the clip to that um, because I think a clip is more um, ut utilitarian, I guess would be the word. Um, it's much more like a uh, usable blade shape as far as I'm concerned. Um, these handles are aluminum. They're not plastic or G10 or anything. The handles are aluminum. Um, I don't know how they're like painted or coated. I don't know if this is some sort of special coating or if it's literally just like some sort of baked on paint. Um, if I carry it, we will find that out because if it's just a baked on paint, it'll wear off fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, I don't know how often I'll carry this, so who knows. Anyway, that's the video on the Boker Kalashnikov. This says 74, so I guess that's what I'll call it. Um, and a little update on what's happening with PA knife laws next year. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day.